Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan, the final season, part two, episode number one, reaction. Okay, it's been almost a year. I think it is like a, a complete year that it went. And uh, yeah, we finally have uh, the final, I think this will be the final part. You know, the manga has ended and this will probably be the end of the story. Like, you know, with the end of this anime, uh, like, you know, this part. Uh, the the story will also end as far as I know now um, I have tried my best to actually keep myself from getting spoiled whenever I saw like you know <laughs> some articles related to attack on Titan this and that I kind of like you know avoided it but there's one thing that I actually kind of like you know heard in a lot of like people talking like this is something that I wasn't able to stop from hearing is that a lot of people were actually not happy with the ending of the manga now i won't judge unless and until i see the end for myself but like you know like seeing that quite a lot of people are not happy with the ending is something that actually concerns me because you know like um like it wouldn't be a matter if a few people didn't like it because obviously all people have their own tastes but I've, I've heard that quite a lot of people actually did not like the ending, which is something that actually concerns me because Attack on Titan has been one of the beloved animes for a quite a long time and people like, you know, love this show very much. So suddenly seeing and hearing that people did not like the ending is actually that kind of concerns me because I myself want the uh, story to have like a proper and like, you know, a satisfying ending. Now, I do know this is not uh, like, you know, <laughs> this is not any like an Attack on Titan is not a fairy tale. And I'm pretty sure that you probably won't get a happy ending in like, you know, because like, you know, that's the vibe this show gives. I don't I, like, you know, I don't expect a happy ending, but I really hope that they actually like, you know, the ending is actually satisfying. Now that, as I said, I'll be the judge of that myself. I'll like, you know, watch this season and, you know, like see whether uh, my opinion is similar to the other people who did not like it or is my opinion similar to the people who liked it so that I'll be the judge of that myself but yeah let's get started with this video this is the first part uh, uh no sorry uh, this is the first episode of the final part of this uh, season and uh, yeah so anyways let's get started we kind of like you know I, I still remember what happened in part one of in the final season you know the whole thing with the euthanization plan the whole Zeke's like you know situation and uh, you know Aaron like you know kind of deflecting yeah, you know, like you know making the Jaegerist this and that like in you know, that little scuffle that they had with uh, Armin and uh, Mikasa then and a lot of things a lot of things happened in the first part of the final season oh we met uh, gabi and um uh, what was the guy i forgot the oh falco yeah falco i remember his name uh falco and then the whole thing with oh my god sasha sasha dying yeah quite a lot of things happened we got to see their part of the story as well which kind of made us feel uh sympathetic towards them and now we're confused as to which side would we should we support this and that like it's, it's a mess so yeah anyways let's get started with this episode let's see what happens so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here stick it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go all right let's see Oh, where? Oh, yeah, this is, um, wait, is that Levi? Oh, yeah, he also got caught up in the blast. He's, he's okay, isn't he? Wait, who died? Levi? I think she's lying. I think she's lying just so that they don't kill him. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this titan, it took Zeke inside him.
Okay. Damn, clean animation. <laughs> okay, what's happening here? Wait, is he alive? Is he alive? I think he's alive. He's alive! Or... He's alive! Z Zeke's alive! Okay, that's good. Um... Oh no, they're gonna shoot him or something. Oh no, he's part of the... Okay. Oh. Yeah. Took him in and What? Who the hell is this? So this this girl saved him or something? This scene, this is the same scene that um, you meet. Oh, but it was. Uh... Oh. No, no, that's something different. Yeah, they they turned into titans. I really thought he died in the previous season. It's good to see... It's good to see that he's alive, but... Okay, is this, is this the opening? Yeah. Oh! Alright, Aaron and Zeke. Final season, here we go. Oh, is this in English? Yeah. Okay, this is good. Okay. Oh, is it the name of the rumbling? Okay. The name of the song. Wow, that transition. Whoa. Whoa. Conviction. Okay, oh, that was a good opening. Pro okay. Oh yeah, this thing. Uh, the whole thing with Aaron. Nah, that was just... Oh boy, here they are. Yeah. Oh boy. Here we go, a big fight is going to start now. Okay.
Whoa, what is that? Oh my god, artillery! What's happening? Oh! Wait, whoa! Oh, that was a... <laughs> okay, anyways. Um... Wow, okay. Yeah, this thing is nimble, you can see. Oh boy, now we'll have to fight Peek as well. Uh... Oh no, she's taking her, okay, makes sense. That was a... Uh... Hmm. Using the power of the war. Will he listen? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, he won't listen. Damn. Wow. The art, I think the art improved in the finals, this part. The art looks amazing. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god, things are going to go down. <laughs> ah. My god. Yeah, I I thought he would actually I don't know, like I thought he would actually use strategy and not confront Reiner head on, but anyways, let's see. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, well. Yeah, these are all cannons and stuff. Well, obviously you... Yeah. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. What's he doing? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll probably not use it currently. Oh, and that as well. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Oh no, wait. Oh my god, he, she deduced that. Yeah, well. Hmm. Yeah.
boy like thank like it would have been a real mess if zeke died that means you know like he's alive thank god Okay. Oh boy, again Reiner versus Eren. Like ah. Okay. Oh. My god. Oh. Come on! Nice! Damn, Eren has improved by quite a lot, I have to say. Like, hand to hand combat. Damn. Oh no, two versus. Oh! With the Warhammer Titan. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, they're ganging up on him. There you go. This is a Warhammer Titan's power, isn't it? I think so. The thing that Siren is using. Okay. Okay, okay, thank God. They're here. Wait, what the? Wait, who? Oh, that's, I think that's from Peak, isn't it? Who attacked him? Peak? Yeah, there you go. Ah. Modern weaponry, you know. Oh, they did not translate that part. Anyways. Ugh, this is a mess. Come on, we need to get them first. We need some foot soldiers there. Oh my god! Yo! Yeah, they have modern weaponries. This is a mess. Oh. Yo, this is... Oh my god, this is bad. Oh my god. Oh no, no, come on, come on. Oh my god, again, it hit him again. Okay. D did he did he exit? I think he he could probably have exited from there and I don't know. Oh. Is he still in there? I don't know. I think he, he is still inside there. No, he is in there. Oh my god. I thought maybe he exited or something. Oh my god, what? Yeah, you suffered enough. Who? Oh, okay.
Oh boy. Come on, Connie. Ah. <sighs> yeah. Come on, Connie. Yeah, but it was not that easy, you know. Ah. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Yeah. True. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but for now we have to help him. Hmm. Yeah. No. Oh my god. That's bothering her still. Yeah, obviously. Like, how can that be? Like... What? Yeah. Doesn't have to. Oh. Is that really? I don't think so. That's very wishful thinking. I don't know. I feel like he really is. Uh, maybe Armin's right, but I don't think he's correct this time. I really feel like Eren, Eren is kind of thinking about getting the euthanization plan because I might be wrong though. Well, who knows what goes goes into that guy's mind? Um, 
Yo. Ah. Is he, is he calling other? No. That's impossible. There are no titans left here. It feels like he's... Oh my god. That's the end. Okay. This is the ending. Okay. Wow. Wow. Well, that was like the muffler transforming into a... It's under in, in the cage. Wow. Wow, this is a great ending. Wow. Okay, that's the end. Okay, okay, that was a really good ending. Um, I have to say, uh, I, as I said, look, you know, I, it it would probably it would take a little bit of time for me to get you know what do you call it, uh, get used to the opening because the opening was really great. But I feel like that opening is something that you uh you know like if you hear it for every day, it kind of rolls on you that type of an opening. Uh, so it'll it'll like you know after listening to it every week I'll probably really start liking the opening for now It's good, but it'll probably get better as I listen to it more and more the ending was fantastic You know like I have to say um the ending um, Yeah, like the the words and everything I was kind of reading the subtitles uh, as I was watching the ending Yeah, that, that was a good ending. So anyways, okay uh, this episode the first episode of uh, the final part of this season now <clears throat> i think this is the final part yeah now here now here's one thing that i was not expecting happening uh the previous ep uh, the previous season i actually thought zeke died you know because he died and the titan took it within him i thought he would die after that you know like i i had no hopes for him coming out alive the surprising thing here is i like you know i did not expect levi to be that uh wounded uh but it does make sense that he became so much wounded because you know like he was at at point blank range from from zeke and he just like you know the the, the blast kind of took him in and <clears throat> like i did not expect zeke coming back we see here in the beginning that levi is almost dead almost because i doubt he's dead because you know like if he if he really was dead um nah he's not dead like levi <laughs> it's impossible and uh, like, you know, Hanji's, uh, res not response, but the way he, she reacted to Z uh, Levi was like, you know, obviously kind of uh, hinted that, yeah, he's still alive. Because when, um, what was the guy's name? I forgot his name. Uh, the guy, uh, the one who was talking with Hanji, that guy. No, 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 no. no. Was it? No. My God, this I actually forgot his name. Anyways, um, I'm you should be able to understand who I'm trying to say, uh, talk about uh, that guy, you know, who who is like in uh, like in the Jaegerist, that guy. Uh, he asked Zeke, uh, not Zeke, sorry. He asked Hanji that, oh, is he dead? What happened? And Hanji said that, yeah, he's dead. You know, what do you expect? Which obviously was a big lie because Levi is still alive, and she just said that just so that she could stop him from shooting him now she probably would have shot him if at that moment zeke did not suddenly like you know that ha happen like zeke came out 
If that didn't happen, he probably would have shoot, shot Levi. Levi. But uh, Zeke suddenly came out, you know, using that uh, as like a little distraction. Uh, Hanji and Levi kind of went out of that, like, you know, kind of jumped into the water and ran away. Thank God. <laughs> and um, Zeke is back, which is kind of good, I, in my opinion, because, you know, like, I myself am very confused as to which team to cheer for. So, like, you know, <laughs> so, like, what, what can I say? Like, I'm, I'm cheering for both the teams. That's basically it. <laughs> I don't know where they're going to go with this, but yeah, this is a complicated situation. So it's good. It's good that Zeke is still alive. But now here's the thing. Uh, as Armin kind of deduced by the end, if Eren is really planning on uh, not carrying out the plan, then this is like a, I don't know, this, this kind of changes a lot of things because, um, but I don't think, I don't know. If, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that later because I myself don't like for, for a moment. I'm kind of thinking like, yeah, maybe Armin is right. And then I'm thinking, is he though? You know, like I don't feel like he's correct. And again, that is coming in my head like, yeah, maybe he is right. Because Eren usually like, you know, does weird stuff like this now and then without telling anyone. So maybe he has some other underlying plan. But yeah, anyways, I'm kind of still like, you know, it's kind of still fighting in my head it's like a 50 50 chance either Eren is like tricking and like you know kind of using uh, zeke and others or maybe he's not 50 50 we don't know but anyways okay going back to that scene uh zeke comes out and <clears throat> now here's one thing uh zeke says that there's this weird girl who was i don't know like constructing him or something made making him out of sand we saw that scene and she he said that i saw the path now like we don't know what like you know what who that girl was and what was happening i'm sure we're going to get an answer but she's she probably seems very important not probably she she's most definitely very important to the plot because she suddenly came in and saved zeke i think she basically saved zeke i'm not sure because she died like at that moment i'm sure he died but somehow he was alive and I'm, I'm not sure if that is somehow connected to that titan who took him in into his stomach you know like that titan that came in took zeke within his stomach maybe that was also is also that is also somehow connected to that girl we don't know but yeah we'll have to wait and zeke you know comes up and zeke is like yeah we need to go and find Aaron. let's go and that was that and then we kind of shift to the other part where like you know Eren and Peek are fighting and then in comes no not Eren and Peek sorry Eren and um uh what was his name Galliard Galliard yeah Galliard um it's been a while I've like, you know, seen the final season I, I might have forgotten the names uh, I think his name was Galliard wasn't it yeah he uh, and uh, Aaron was fighting and using that as like a you know, distraction uh, Peek took in Gabi and we see the Marlians coming in Reiner is there and Aaron is like yeah they started acting a bit sooner than I expected so okay now Yelena does tell Aaron to kind of go in and like you know escape but this is Aaron we're talking about you know he, he won't back down but um yeah like i was for a moment i was thinking like like why did Eren suddenly like you know go and confront them because i felt like he like you know he he he's more strategizing nowadays but then i realized this is Eren we're talking about like you know like Eren. <laughs> what else do you expect from Eren? Eren will always like jump right into the scene and like you know like he's hot-headed and everything like he, he's definitely going to do that and i'm sure like you know he he probably wanted to stop reiner here and like you know just here because uh it would it would start a big problem if they suddenly started like you know fighting and everything because he he running away this time would probably uh i don't know like result in a lot of casualties i'm sure he did not want that because like as much as he says that yeah this is my plan i'm doing this like you know like uh, for the bigger goal that is the rumbling he definitely cares about uh his comrades and i'm talking about Aaron. He definitely cares about about his comrades. So I'm sure if he actually ran away from that situation, probably Mikasa, I mean, they would have been in danger. I don't know, maybe. 
but um, yeah maybe that's also why he decided not to run away and just stop and confront reiner and uh, you know end this once and for all but yeah but anyways like you know it, it is difficult like we saw in season the fi first part of the final season that modern weaponries are has come a long way and it's actually something that is um you know like getting an advantage over titans like you know like shooting guns and big artilleries like that's like you know unless and un until the titan is extremely powerful you could probably just mow down a whole like you know uh, army of titans using some i don't know like artillery or bombs or you know like machine guns something like that you could probably do that like you know armor piercing machine guns armor piercing tanks and stuff so like they basically brought in their artilleries all the other foot soldiers infantries reiner as well reiner is here to actually stop uh Eren, you know and like you know impede him reiner and galliard uh peak is here to take gabi to safety uh and all the other foot soldiers and the infantry are here to attack the normal people like you know the other like you know foot soldiers um the survey corps and the uh like you know and Eren as well <coughs> full like you know full-fledged plan now <coughs> okay all right so they start their plan peak takes uh like you know the f form of uh the the jaw titan i think that's what you call yeah no no wait peak is a card titan or okay i'm i'm mixing things up peak is a card titan or, or is she the jaw titan I think she's a card titan or yeah i think she's a card titan i might be wrong though but anyways i i know like what i'm talking about like you know the the, the one with the big mouth that speak obviously we know that i actually like i'm actually mixing up whether she's called the jaw titan or the card titan i'm actually mixing them up let me know in the comment section um because <laughs> i'm kind of scared to actually go and search in the internet in case i get spoiled but yeah anyways um so she, she takes in gabi and you know goes back and uh, she's also ready with the artillery to attack eren and you know like all the marlians are ready like there's like they're fighting and i think this is the best time that they could have taken to come and attack because actually mikasa now they are like having like an internal conflict with uh, eren and this is a mess you know like we basically are fighting amongst each other and and at that time like you know the marlians come in and attack us like that's a mess like Eren is all alone now like if at least if mikasa armin and all of them were there armin could have transformed into the titan colossal titan you know like and they could have like probably fought and took them like you know like um you know like they could have had a better advantage i think but yeah since we're fighting amongst each other the perfect timing you know to just attack and marlians took that but still Eren was actually still winning even in this situation like fighting both um uh, galliard and um uh what's his name uh, reiner he was actually winning so obviously because he has his warhammer titan power as well he fought them and we can see that n is has gotten very strong you know like one versus one you know against reiner he's actually winning and uh he and then in comes uh you know like galliard and like you know they, they start fighting this and that and then Eren uses his Warhammer power. I think that is his Warhammer Titan power. Those, um, yeah, those constructs, you know, like those like pointy things that he was, that was coming out of his body. That one. He started using them to attack Reiner and uh, Galliard. Both were kind of pinned, you know, pinned down. And well, in comes Speak with his uh, with her artillery and sh like a full on headshot. And yeah, that's why, you know, like, it's, it's dangerous. These modern weapons are dangerous. If, like, you know, like, this is extremely, what you can even say, uh, extremely uh, strong, not strong, but tactically strong against Eren. I'm calling tactically strong because if you actually strategize and use, I'm sure this, this one, uh, you know, cannon or one artillery could probably defeat all of them because they kind of use strategy here they use reiner and you know um galia to actually stop eden in one place and peak used that opportunity to shoot him 
like if no one was actually impeding or stopping Eren, Eren could have easily like you know went in close combat and could have easily defeated Peak and the artillery destroyed it. But that's why I'm saying this is tactically strong. If used properly, this this one cannon and this one artillery could probably defeat them all. Uh, it 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 has that amount of like this is modern like you know, weaponry we're talking about. We saw what happened. Like Reiner and uh, Galliard kind of stopped Eren in one position, which gave Peak the ultimate like you know, uh, you know chance and uh to use uh, the web uh, the artillery not peak but the one who was operating the artillery and uh that's how like you know they used it and shot Aaron. so it was used properly it was used strategically that's why it came like you know it, it was helpful and not only that we are seeing like you know like all the other foot soldiers as well them coming in and suddenly shooting everyone obviously the survey corps are not accustomed to this you know like like everyone is getting shot and this is like a big mess and it it really feels we're going to lose this time now and then we get a little scene of reiner actually telling that yeah like enough is enough like um you should like you know like um you should take a rest Aaron. like you, you've uh what do you call it you've um uh, what did it say yeah like like you've done enough yeah you've suffered enough there you go you've suffered enough so take a rest like yeah like it's true you know like he and it's probably not probably he's definitely going through a lot now like what do you even expect like he he has to like he has to think about everyone in a way like you know not everyone but his own comrades his his family and everything uh paradise island and he is actually uh act, i i'm going to say that he's acting he's actually acting as the villain like i still feel like he's acting the villain he he's not a villain he has not become a villain he's actually acting the part of a villain so uh, i don't know so yeah he's he's going through a lot anyways uh, okay that was that and then oyanko pawn goes in break like you know uh, opens the prison door everyone comes out connie is angry which is something that i don't blame him for because yeah as you said like like everyone's betraying us reiner this that like what do you even want from us you know didn't you say that you were going to help us out and then you like feed us the spinal fluid and this is what happens and like Oyakopon did not know that and Yelena is the only one who knew that I think yeah Yelena and that the other guy um I don't remember his name um uh, the one who loved Sasha I forgot his name uh I'm sure I'll, I'll get reminded you know as I watch um mm, so yeah Oyakopon had no idea about it so yeah anyways like obviously Armin is the one who is calm in this situation he's like stop Connie let us hear him out and Uncle Pound tells like you know him about like what's happening he knew about nothing this and that and they should at least help Aaron out now here's the thing um obviously like I can understand where Connie is coming from like you know but the first thing we should do here is like like the thing that we are doing now still Connie is like no why should we help you out like they're still fighting amongst each other like we have to understand that this is not a three like you know three like you know three team fighting against each each other this is not that this is a two one versus one not two versus one or something like, like that's what's basically happening like you know we are broken into two now uh the jaegerist and the other you know and then uh the marlians are coming in so what's happening is we're fighting against each other while marlian is taking the advantage and attacking us so Kwani like I'm 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 sure Connie like you know like Connie has not only Connie everyone everyone has a lot of problems in what Oyankapon is saying that we should help them out currently like you know like obviously I don't blame them because like you know who would actually go and help out the person who actually imprisoned them you know like basically like these people actually imprisoned them and now that's telling to help us but like you know like we should listen to armin calm down and actually think what is correct here because if we keep fighting amongst each other not only aaron's team but our own team will also like you know like um, mikasa and everyone will also get wiped out by the marlins and that's something that we don't want happening so you know we should calm down we should you know like patch our um what do you call it like in the the, the, the infighting that's happening we should stop that you know temporarily temporary truce 
fight against the Marlians, drive them out, and then you know, like come to a, a decision and you know, an understanding again. Uh, so I'm sure Armin is going to do that. And he said that okay, he stopped Connie, and he was like, yeah, let's just listen. And there here, Connie gives uh, not Connie, sorry, Armin comes up with an explanation of what Aaron is trying to do. Now here's where I I am not sure. You know, like I actually kind of disagree, but at the same time, I, I, I agree as well with what is Armin is saying. Like, I'm not sure what's happening. He says that Aaron is actually doing this to, you know, to, to go alongside uh, Zeke and Yelena's plan. You know, kind of follow them, but he has his own plan. He doesn't want euthanization plan to uh, happen. He has some other plan on his own. This is where I am still not sure. I feel like Aaron actually, I don't know. Like, I feel like Aaron, did he really, like, did he really, like, is that what he's, his plan is? Like, he's actually doing this just so that, uh, like, you know, Zeke and Yelena doesn't actually force him to do something. Because, like, Armin has logic, you know. The thing that he says here is actually correct. Like, if he actually, like, you know, how do you call it, like, if he actually opposed them, it, they would have probably forced him to do it anyways. So maybe that's what Armin, that's what Armin is saying, that he's actually acting as if, act, like, you know, helping them. But maybe he has some other plans. He's just using Zeke and Yellen and all of the others to get the job done, and then he'll deflect. That's what Armin is saying. And he might be right, you know. He might be right, because... This is Aaron we're talking about. We don't know what's going through his head. And yeah, who knows? Like up until here, I was under the impression that I, I was sure that Aaron has not, like, you know, betrayed uh, Mikasa and the, the team. You know, he was, I thought that he was only acting, his acting part was just for that portion where he said that, oh, like, you know, I never liked you, Mikasa. I always hated you, this and that. And he fought with Armin and everything, like, you know, like, uh, like started like in taking them them at gunpoint. I think though I thought up until now I thought those were all acting. You know, Aaron was acting up until that part, uh, and the original euthanization plan is something that he also wanted to carry out alongside Zeke. I thought that was what was happening. But here in this episode, after Armin says that, I think maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the whole thing is an act on his part. Up until now, I thought the part of it was the act. Maybe the whole thing is an act. Who knows? We'll have to wait for that. But I don't know, like, you know, like, I do feel like Aaron would actually, uh, like, actually cooperate with Zeke, with Zeke's plan. Because, you know, he doesn't want anyone else to suffer or something like that, I don't know. But, yeah, we'll have to wait for that, we'll have to see. Now, here's another problem starts popping up, is Mikasa's, you know, inferiority, not inferiority complex, but something like that. Where she says that maybe, the like, you know... Uh, why I'm protecting Aaron is because it's uh, because I'm the Nakarman, you know, and like he, she does say about like the headache and stuff, all that things, and I don't know. I feel I feel like that was that was a completely like you know made up like you know lie made up by Aaron when he just said that oh you are doing this just because you're a Nakarman. I doubt that. Uh, yeah, that's definitely not it. Uh, most probably Aaron said that just so that he could, you know, like act as the bad guy, act as the villain or something. That's probably the only, the only reason. And like, obviously the thing that he said that I, I've never liked you guys, you know, like I've always hated you. Those are blatant lies. I can say that because, you know, like, yeah, that's impossible. You know, he, he does say that I never liked you guys, but yeah, that is kind of impossible because we have seen Aaron from his childhood. It was definitely not an acting the way when he, he you know, he uh, played with Armin and Mikasa, they hanged out together. Those were not acting. So that was a blatant lie that I'm quite sure about. But I'm not quite sure about this whole thing of the, like, you know, Ackerman being the Ackerman. Maybe that's why Mikasa is actually protecting Aaron. That I'm still not sure about. But I, I like, you know, 90% of me says that that is also a lie. Because I'm sure that was not the reason why Mikasa is protecting them. You know, that is definitely not the reason. Uh, protecting Aaron and even if it is the reason you know what's wrong with it what is wrong with it yeah like that's the thing here like even if that is the reason even if because she's an Ackerman Akar, uh, she's protecting Aaron that's like his her intrinsic thing what's wrong with it I don't see anything wrong with that 
yeah it's fine you know the, it, it does not change the fact that she wants to protect Aaron that's the main thing here like where it comes from where that feeling like you know sprouts from or whatever you call it wh where where it's the origin uh, origin point of that feeling I don't care at least I don't care you know like yeah what's the problem with it I don't find anything wrong here like the, the main thing is that he wants to protect Aaron that's just it and i think i think mikasa should take that approach you know like she should start thinking along these lines she should be like you know what like even if that is the reason why i'm trying to protect her what's wrong with it you know like like you know like i want to protect him and that's what i'm going to do like she should take this approach but we'll have to wait for that and uh yeah that was that and we see everyone is like losing and everything Aaron is in a problem like you know little bind and uh yeah it's a mess and we feel I, I kind of feel like Aaron was like screaming like that i'm not sure what he's trying to do maybe that's some part of his strategy or something maybe he's screaming to let i don't know like like signal something or someone maybe zeke is somewhere here and maybe he's hearing that or something i don't know <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure he's planning something we'll have to see you know like the way he was screaming at that moment I don't think think that's like the scream big like he's screaming like that because of pain like obviously because of pain he's screaming that I don't you know like that's definitely like a part of the reason but I'm sure there is something more to that we'll see we'll see in the next episode but yeah that's what that was the first episode of attack on titan I feel like the animation and the art style kind of improved I don't know let me know what you think um like the art is looking amazing you know like Aaron and everything like when Aaron became the titan was walking down you know like that was fantastic i love the extra i feel like this the art is extra detailed in this in this final season like they're going probably going all out and um, yeah like the fight was also amazing with Reiner versus Aaron but we'll see we'll have to wait for what's going to happen hopefully everything goes well and uh, yeah hopefully like you know <laughs> like it would you know what would be the best outcome that they would shake their hands and they would be like you know what like let's stop our in like you know fighting against each other and let's just go and defeat the higher ups in the marley <laughs> like, you know, the higher up marleans and just like you know like i don't know like something like that but i'm, I'm sure that's not going to happen like there's a lot of politics a lot of things going on behind the line like you know behind the uh in the background and this is not that easy you know this is there's a lot of things actually going on so it's not that easy that you'd be like oh let's just counter attack or something and let's become friends and <laughs> it's not that easy so yeah so basically the main like obviously the main villain is definitely the uh, higher ups in the marlians the whole thing they are like trying to get paddy's islands uh, resources and stuff and yeah this is like and these are these people are basically the people who are just in the like you know got involved in this mess they are not like you know every i'm sure every people who are fighting here are people who just like you know just who are just in the crossfire and the main instigators of it are probably in marley like sipping tea that's what's happening that's basically what's happening here like these people are like in, all of the people that are here are fighting are just people who have been caught in the crossfire and that's what is actually sad you know like the people who ignited the flame are the ones who are not in any danger they're just in their cozy little home like you know probably uh, sleeping while here like people just got caught in the crossfire are just having the worst day of their life like life and death situation that's what is actually sad about this and yeah anyways so that's it that was the first episode of attack on titan the final season part two so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out but no spoilers please uh, i've <laughs> I, I i check out the comments like you know regularly so that's why i'm saying please don't spoil like you know post any spoilers uh because i've tried my best to keep myself spoiler free and I've, I've been successful up until now so i don't want to get spoiled you know like at the end of this show so yeah anyways so uh, that's it guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of attack on titan the final season part two so until then goodbye and have a nice day